like we have a Vistar versus Briar match. Yeah, it, um, we've got a we've got a Rune Blade in here. You know, <laughs> um, always fun stuff. Um, usually with uh, with how things go now, how Nathan kind of approaches the Viscerai versus uh, Briar when he's on Viscerai, I've I've seen him do both. I've seen him just go straight in your face, and I've also seen him OTK. So seems to me that the game plan for this match for Viscerai can, can vary um, and you can have a pretty pretty nice result oh okay well let's uh, let's look at this so off rip with the equipment alone we see Nathan playing crown of seeds in his deck or for his armor suite instead of something like you know an Arcanite skull cap or um, or or no rune for that matter so that could turn some of his two blocks into three blocks mm -hmm. if they're blue and then um, uh you, you pitch that and then block two arcane and then block with the crown i guess it can work um we were we were at the uh the pro quest at uh at prime time in macon uh, he actually ended mm -hmm. up playing against a briar guy last round of swiss who actually played crown of seeds and afterwards mm -hmm. can i talked about it for about a good 10 minutes and um mm -hmm. he's he's really been keen on that card ever since so i, I like that he's he's mm -hmm. pulling out and testing it um and from this right here that you can already mm -hmm. see that he's gonna try to otk just from the boots alone um so is is that true i i thought uh, most I'm of them run wade hides regardless or the the Oh no no no! This yeah, you're right. You're right. These are not these are not uh, the legendary ones. Yeah, they're not the creepers. Yep. Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So Nathan so, plays. Huh. So he 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 basically did a little setup. Yep. Did a little setup. Not said bad. Arsenal didn't allow pass. didn't allow any filtering, which is which is good. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. So you set up with a lightning, so you're gonna have a pretty good attack, or hopefully a pretty good turn next turn. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, going first, you don't want to attack. You don't want to give your opponent an optional mulligan. Um, you kind of need to force them to get their own cards out on hand, like like uh, he's doing here. Yep. So he has several attack actions here, getting wow. them out of there. So mm -hmm. he had three attack actions. At least he had oath. Mm -hmm. Now he may get a combo piece here, or he may get like a more he might get like a Mordred Tide to like try to set up. He might just get a read the runes just to you know get four four more on the board, or he might get an incantation. Not exactly sure. There's like three different things you can do. Yeah, he pulls out mm -hmm. the incantation here because he has so, the one floating. He's trying to be as efficient as mm -hmm. possible. Yep, yep. So that that ultimately will generate four rune chance as well. So yes, correct. Correct. And the game is unlikely to end in the next three turns. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. So, so the key here for Nathan is to attack in a wide attack pattern with Channel Mount Heroic on the field. Yes. And end the turn with a Command and Conquer. That will basically guarantee the destruction of the. Well, <laughs> speaking of uh, here we Channel are. Mount Heroic, here we go. Wow, that's kind of neat channel mount into e-strike assuming first for eight go again mm. oh no he has go uh, again he already has go again because of lightning so he's gonna draw this is gonna be draw it's wow be draw. He, <laughs> wow he gets the buff to draw and the go yep. again goodness gracious so you got yep. eight eight coming at you right here mm -hmm. hmm. wow so if he if he actually drew command and conquer here he'd probably put in the arsenal yep um and just you know hit him with the sword here rune chant sword or or just sword um but hopefully he drew something like um like a rabble or you know something to extend something. for sure mm -hmm. <clears throat> looks like john's opting to to block block six and take two here Oh, yep. scar for scar, just to come in for seven. Stop missing your triggers, even though it doesn't matter. <laughs> your earth trigger, your embodiment triggers. Uh, full, just full blocks it there. Uh, well, not full blocks. Block six or five, and uh, takes takes mm -hmm. a couple more. 
Hmm. This it's, is just going to be is, the typical matchup, it, right? It is very Nathan verbalized, make an embodiment, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because it doesn't really miss flows. So, if by some miracle he has two Earth cards here, he might choose to make a rune trip. He's got one. Mm hmm. He does. Hmm. Bramble fused. Bramble Spark Fuse on its own is uh, pretty powerful, especially now you have Channel Mount. So, his next attack mm -hmm. is going to get plus three and, uh, and ping for an arcane. Ooh, Sonata. Ooh. So generally, I like to pump two float into this, but looks like Nathan does not want to. Wow, and a whiff. And yeah, and that <laughs> that's that's kind of why I like to put two into it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Still makes an embodiment though. That's always good making the embodiment. It makes me think, since he saw three attacks off the top of his deck, that he's probably got a lot of non-attacks in his hand. Um, <clears throat> because we know he's got the Sotomara he revealed. Um, so, like, these two cards, one card in his hand, and then and then the card in Arsenal need to be attacks. And so you, you see Snatch for for seven in the no. Arcane go again. It's very it, good. Is it seven? I thought it's... Oh, excuse me, it's ten. I apologize. It is. Be, it's 10. It'd be 10 because of the channel mount. I forgot channel mount was on the field. That's important, right? So he's going to get a draw here. He makes his embodiment. And um, he's going to draw a card. It's pretty good. Oh, he yep. only took, excuse me. He only took. Uh, so he only took like the one for the. Um, <laughs> what is it? The Bramble Spark Fuse. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we have a giant block here for, for. Uh, yep, it's for ten. For ten. Oh, runic and run. pretty freaking good. Yep, this is gonna be ten here. That's, if he has a combo piece in hand, he's just taking ten here. I mean, and he's and, losing a. And he's losing the incantation, because the incantation's an aura. Oh yeah, he gets a target. Wow. Yeah, you're right. That's very good value out of Nathan right there. Yeah, that is insane value. So this is what I was talking about, like. Same, same aspect locked, as the CNC, right? Attack yeah, yeah, wide attack patterns with a on-hit effect becomes a nightmare to block. And he's killing the incantation from what it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Very that good value. Nice there. And he Ooh. makes his own rune chant. So that's very powerful going to the next turn. Unfortunately, channel mount goes away, but um, that was a very good turn yeah. out of Nathan. Yeah, now he's just living off the top of the deck, and he knows that that card... Well, he doesn't know for sure. But he knows that that card is pretty valuable. For sure, for sure. Um, not not a hundred percent sure though, but pretty pretty sh certain. Hmm. So he just okay. passes. Um, so that th that was one of those situations where, yeah. So you got wow, Ooh. you have rabble coming in uh, for four in a room. Chant go again. That's a great start yeah. already. My thing is... And we're can... seeing no AB from Viscerai as well. Mm, exactly. So we're... Um, so <laughs> I don't even I, know here. I, I don't know. I, I, I might have preferred the uh, Quill Hand here. Um, for, for me as Viscerai, I've always preferred Quill Hand in the Runeblade. Uh, well, I guess the Briar match. Not necessarily the Chain match. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. I... I guess grass for like the break points and I guess just since may, maybe since if he was going first or second, um, he, he puts it in thinking about like getting the field to your hand. Maybe he valued that a lot um, early game. So you have an autumn's touch. Uh, is that red? It's blue. So he's coming in for uh, autumn's touch for five. Sink below gonna be taking one here and, and that Nathan tells an Nathan option. that there's sink below's and reduced to rune chance in yep. the Viscerai's deck exactly which and means 
There's probably five of them. Five Even if he's Sonata's, he may he, his Sonata may may uh, hit those D reacts. <clears throat> Messes up a lot of the uh, a lot of the ratios. Yep. So this sure. is the first turn where Viscerai has had cards to spare. Yep. And he needs However, to have a turn, he did, right? Now the thing is, he didn't have an arsenal, an arsenal, which means these three cards just have to magically be good together. Yep. Technically four cards because he sank one of them, right? Mm -hmm. So that may or may not. Uh, we'll see here. The fact that he hasn't acted indicates to me that uh, he might just be pitching a bunch and making a rune champ. Uh, that's what it's kind of telling me to. Oh, okay. He just okay. arsenal on passing. So that means he has two attacks in his hand. The first two cards are. They have to be like attacked. red attacks. If this, if this is okay, that that's not Chael Mount Huruk. Okay. Well, that's very still good, pretty though. good though. Toma Harvest is a very good card in this situation. Being able to have a five card hand and filter like a card you don't need is uh pretty pretty powerful. Did he draw enough cards there? Uh, yes. He pitched one to play it, and then he draws three. And this was from hand. That was from hand in the card. Hey, right, right, right. Yep, yep, yep. So you, you, so you end with five cards in hand. Yep. And he's already halfway to an enlightened. Uh, I, I, hate, I hate saying that, but he's uh, he needs one more non-attack to be able to get a lightning and actually extend his play even more mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So Toma Harvest actually adds quite a bit of value when it comes to um, mm -hmm. Briar. Hmm. <clears throat> Looks like he didn't have the non-attack. Nope. Maybe not yet. Maybe, well, he shows the E-Strike, but maybe he's thinking E-Strike go again, non-attack into an attack into Rosetta Thor or something, right? Um, he, he he might be going for like E-Strike, draw, snap it, and then if he gets a non-attack off the top. But generally you want to save the snaps for the For like the big turn, turns. right? Yeah. Yeah. He's still in a very, very, very comfortable position here with... I mean, the Viscerai player has been stumbling the whole match here and only has three rune chance. Mm -hmm. And he's lost half his life. It has been a very unfortunate game for the so, Viscerai. So, like I said, it, that was East Strike draw card. And yeah. we're going to see snaps here. Unless he's running Razor, which is also a possibility. Which is also funny. But... So... Okay, so the first card he had was a Sonata. It had to have been a Sonata, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So that indicates that the card in Arsenal is better than a Sonata. So. Would assume maybe a Mordratide. But, um... Very possible. Yeah. Um, so... So we see the snaps as, as predicted there. Now... Oh, we knew he was drawing Rabble. Uh, we did uh, know one card in his hand was Rabble yep. because yep, of the Rabble. Right. So he's getting four okay. rune chants here and the go again. And, yep, and this could be a Scalata pop here. Definitely could be a Scalata pop, especially if he's got Runic Reclamation in his hand. Um, hmm. Oh my, oh my god. Okay. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, Nathan? You know, I I heard zero for five was Jesus. sorry. Briar doesn't Briar doesn't abuse it. Zero for five, zero for four is pretty good. You can't be serious. You can't make this up. He and, he, and he has no AB. I'm telling you, it's Rune Reclamation a... into a Rosetta Thorn. Oh oh, oh that Jesus, is, oh, this is even man. better. <laughs> oh my oh God. man. So you have okay see it? eight arcane. You have eight arcane uh... and six coming at you, so it's guaranteed eight going to twelve. And, and this has either... go again. This has go again. Yeah, it does. This could be like snatch at the end, or snatch would be incredible. Or this could it could just be, yeah it could just yeah. be that yeah that 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 works too. That works perfectly too. He's got no cards. You need to get the damage in, especially with him being at eight. This has just been a series of unfortunate events for the Vistar guy. Oh, John. Yep. Um, we are. We are basically seeing a thumping here. Um, so the Goodness. Briar player basically is going to have to draw very, very, very poorly. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, he draws another East Strike. So the the thing is, is that these Earth Briar decks are built such that like they're at least gonna rip two cards from your hand. Mm -hmm. So that's you're not only will you have to get lucky in terms of uh, defense. Like you, you have, you have to draw the right cards, but the, at the same time, they have to draw the wrong cards for, for you to get back in this game. So you see him pop Skeletta and go Oath, or no, excuse me, I mean, block with Oath and Skeletta, and then he goes mm -hmm. Snatch for four. So he's just gonna full block that for sure. Yep. Set up a five card a little... hand and like, it's just. That last okay, turn was so, just insane. I don't know. So if he <laughs> if he can make like ten rune, if he can make like ten yeah. rune chance. So so I was then... right. So it was the Mordred, and he's he's uh make it six. So, so he's making six. That's a very good turn, and he gets the Arsenal yep. other card. Um, he just has to block very efficiently and hope that Nathan doesn't have an insane five card hand. Um, I guess a couple turns in a row. Uh, he's not paying for it. It looks like Josh. So he's just going blind for three here, and he hits. Okay. Um, okay, now he has a choice here. Now he has so a choice. So the, the, the interesting thing here is that with effectively no AB, Nathan has, like, so many routes to victory here. Yeah. That swarming presents a lot, I believe. Any more damage that this Viscerai takes, the Arcane's going to start becoming lethal. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you you, you basically lose. For so, sure. Gosh, man. Ravenous Ravel, so you know... You know he's got swarming. You know he uh -huh. has goodness. This hand, he's he's got a decent hand already. You yeah. can just tell off of getting the swarming, having the ravenous coming in for four, and obviously and you see his. Go go ahead. So the, the the thing here is is that if this hits, we're gonna he's gonna make an embodiment, which turns oh, on the which gloom veil. Go on again. Swarming. Ooh, yep. Yeah. I was thinking about like. How he has to make a rune chant this turn? No, 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 no. LSS designed. They designed, designed Stormy Gloom Veil to work specific to work way. with all three. <laughs> they, they designed it to work with all three rune blades. Yeah, which is which is nice. Which is very nice of them. Thank you so much, LSS, for making Stormy Gloom Veil such an amazing card. <clears throat> So it looks uh, we, like we see the res the respect there. Is that is that an overblock? Uh, uh no, no, it's not. It's not. Oh, uh, gets an the amulet of earth. <laughs> gives the yep. Here we go. Okay, so if you guys don't know what amulet earth does, it's an instant destroy it. Uh, attack action cards you control gain plus one and plus one this turn if you fused. So you got to snatch for four go again. Uh, yep. Goodness gracious. And then swarming. And, and then, then swarming and then Rosetta Thorn. Yep, this is gonna hurt. And what if his last card in his hand is blue? So they can go swarming grasp, and make another rune chant, or he could mm -hmm. when snatch when he blocks snatch, he can make another rune chant, have four go again. I mean, this is currently pop. Well, the hides block for one. Yeah, and um, he the did. Hides did he? Did he? Do break not block the for anything chain? actually. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. They don't. But. He, uh, he broke the combat chain, right? Yeah, combat chain was broken when he played the Amulet of Earth. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so he can block again with the grasp. Yep. So this is this is this is uh So he full blocks efficient. the four. I'm telling you the thing is I feel like he held the blue. I feel like he held the blue so he could make the grasp and go swarming swarming for four. Oh, he okay. Hmm. So that card in Arsenal It's is gotta be very good. Is probably Channel Mount Rock. Uh, he didn't have a Earth card, a blue Earth card. Yeah. So oh, it looks like he's... he blocked with Skull Cap and right. then blocked. So, blocked. so as soon as you see people blocking with Skull Cap for AB, like they're already a dead man walking, basically. Yeah. Um, Nathan just hasn't taken his foot off the gas pedal. Okay, two more rune chants. Nice. Hmm. This amulet of earth. 
actually could be used because there's bramble sparks that could be fused, right? So, hmm. So to clarify in chat with a few people, um, Briar makes an embodiment of Earth token when an attack action deals damage, whether it be arcane damage or whether it be the physical damage. Um, so yeah. And it's only attack actions, that's it. Not from like Sonata or not from um, like a playing a revel and taking, you know, rune chance that way. What this is telling me right now is Nathan has a good hand and he wants to make sure he can gain. Either that or it's the exact opposite and it, it yeah. Shout out to Sam Dando in chat. Um, actually, the uh, the Briar player from Indy. Glad to see you stop by. Actually, you ended up playing you playing you uh, around two or three at Indianapolis. It's nice meeting you as well. So. Uh, so you have Nathan coming in from Arsenal going Lightning Surge for four going. Okay, so that that was not Channel Mahorok, however, I that still makes a lot it still makes a lot of sense to Arsenal that and pitch those. Yeah, swarming. I I do agree with pitching the swarming for the lightning because it guarantees, you know, a very strong five card hand, more than likely, mm -hmm. on the next turn. So you see him have okay. a reduce. Um has one card Second. out of hand. That's very good. That's the second D-React we've seen. Mm -hmm. And oh no. He's got to play the Revel. <laughs> I mean, uh -oh. that's... So, so Vigor Rush for... So Vigor Rush for, uh, for four go again into a... Um, into a Rosetta Thorn. It's, I mean, this gets his entire hand. He still does damage. Unless he's got a very good card in hand. But like, I don't think you can afford to not block at this point. So... <laughs> This Revel and Runeblood basically acting as a uh, captain's call. <laughs> yep. Revel and Rune, Revel and Rune call. Mm -hmm. hmm. Does he set another card? Nope. Since he's up so nope, much, he just goes is, for two and two. Yep. Oh, he's got the blue and he blocks for two. But it's mm -hmm. still good for Nathan just to keep on making uh, that card. turn cycle was actually good for John because he went yep. up a rune chant and nathan is now playing with four instead of five yep however he did lose a little bit of life so i think if nathan can't present lethal here and he just has sonata he may just go for it um i think i mean i think at 12 you kind of have to if you have it and he can't present much so he makes the rune chant and goes swarming for one and three so he's dealing one guaranteed here Mm -hmm. um, unless he wants to pitch a blue. Um, so he's taking the one going to five. That just makes things easier for Nathan, you know, late game. Oh, is he going to end his well, turn Was he about here? to end his turn there is the question. <laughs> so Scar for Scar. So he's coming in from the four, so he can't present lethal here from what we're seeing unless he's got a lightning press in hand and he's just joking us all so this this could be john's window here if wow. okay looks like looks like looks he like he's gonna block. okay that that is also fair so um, he's gonna set up a card in arsenal yep uh or it's a read the room so he just yeah he does arsenal um i mean i that, i think that worked out in nathan's favor him not having something to to do um mm -hmm. also now having a five card hand again um presents a lot yeah you got you got three cards out of their hand you took a life off of their health total so you got a blue uh, oh, there we are <laughs> okay, okay yep. well. so so this is going to be a pretty painful oh, turn here wow he had the lightning surge seven too. so you got seven go so, again yep so we, we we need to see a two card block here from, from yep. this I mean, if he's got two more attacks, he's 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 got two cards. He's more than likely coming in for another attack and then arsenaling his last card and having a five card hand on this channel mount turn, um, which is powerful. Mm -hmm. The uh, this is this is the turn to not forget your embodiments. Oh, for sure, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So we've basically seen 
two players trying to enact their game plan and one person just smoothly executing their game plan. Yep. And one just being on the back foot, unfortunately, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so he has blocks for two and then sinks. So he's blocking for six. Yep. So one damage leaking through here. Essentially, he has no more block because he's not going to pop his Skeletta unless he absolutely has to. There, there's no way you block oh, well, this game's over. Okay, so now nine, and this is, this is, yeah, he had yeah. even had a D react. Yeah. So right. that is wow. going to do it there. Command and Conquer for nine, I heard is pretty good against wow, Combo Wow, wow, wow. Wow, Nathan. Tell me, tell me how I know that. Ask me how I know that. How do you know that, Josh? <laughs> because this, I played Nathan in round 13 of Nationals, <laughs> and I got, I was playing Bolton Combo. I and, uh, that. Oh, and, man. And, uh, Oh, Arsenal God. attacked my three pumped CNCs. I can't so, believe I watched that yeah. happen turn yeah. after turn. Yeah, so that, that's how oh. I do. Oh, man. In the commentary booth that uh, Channel Mount Heroic CNC attacks against the Arsenal. Very good against combo decks <clears throat> from Briar. All right, so yeah, a very, very smooth game there from Nathan. Unfortunately, John could not quite get there with the viscera combo deck um so i i mean the next match is scheduled for the hour however uh, we yes. are trying to do them back to back yep if we can so we're trying to keep the downtime at a minimum 